What's going on everyone? It's Will Mitchell here. It's April 20th. We have a special request from one of our viewers and clients, John Roomaker. This is gonna be a great video. He suggested we show you guys the places to buy your groceries. Might seem like a simple video, but you're gonna get a little bit of a price index out of this video. I'm gonna show you my secret spots. You might think you can go to just one store to get it done. For me, when I'm cooking, I want the best ingredients. So I have my secret locations or maybe they're not too secret. People on the island might know them, but I'm gonna take you to these spots, show you where to shop when you're on the island. So let's go hop in the car and go check everything out. Step one, we got our boneless chicken breast and I got some chicken fajitas. Dinner's gonna be good tonight. Stop number two, even though we said number one, it's right across from Caribbean chicken, the fruit stand. Morning. Yeah, brother. Turmeric, it's very healthy. The most important thing right here, fresh pina. One of those. Um, yes, uh, no, it's okay, whole, all good. Yeah, yeah, that's perfect, man. How much? 16.25. Okay. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you, man. We got it. So the first two stops are done. We hit Caribbean chicken. We got two packs of chicken breasts, which each have four chicken breasts, and we got some chicken fajitas. That was 29 Belize, so 14.50 US. Then we went across the street to the fruit stand here. We got four oranges, a pineapple, a handful of turmeric. Um, what else did we get? We got uh, spinach, a bag of spinach, and some green peppers. That came out to 16 Belize, so $8 US. Uh, what you'll find with a lot of the produce, it's super, super affordable here, extremely fresh. Random fun fact, here we have a Belizean orange. Now, I'm sure that our viewers will be able to, to detect that this orange is actually green. Most oranges in Belize actually come out green when they're ripe. So when you go to the fruit stand, don't get it twisted. This is a fresh orange. And actually because American consumers are so used to having orange oranges, they don't know what a green orange is really unless you come to Belize. Most of the oranges when they're exported go to the juice companies because people and consumers in the US and Canada, they don't know what a green orange is. So fun fact, a lot of the juice companies buy these oranges. They're actually, in my opinion, sweeter than a lot of the oranges you'll find in other locations. Again, we all know I'm biased, but when you're in Belize, try a green orange. On to the next stop. We're gonna go to the French bakery. They have my favorite breads and croissants, pastries. So we're gonna get a loaf of bread from there. Then we'll go to the little market that I like to go to. It's called the Green Mart. And our Green Market, we'll go over there and we'll get some more stuff and uh, give you guys a complete idea of where to shop. Yeah. We're just down the street from the French bakery, the boulangerie. This is where we get the bread, the croissants, the pastries. Tropic area in the airstrip is right here. Maya's over there. And the Sandcast building is right behind me. So it's in the Sandcast building right beside Tropic area in town. Let's go check it out. They're closed for Easter holidays, guys. So we're gonna go to the green market and then we'll take you to the next bakery. You're getting two for one here, but when these guys are open, this is my go-to, but there's two amazing bakeries here. So let's keep going. So guys, the biggest grocery store on the island of Ambergris Key is Super Buy. They have three locations. We're on the one, I guess it's on Back Street and Middle Street. There's two entrances there. Uh, the other one is located closer to Mahogany Bay by the, the next bakery we're gonna go to. And then there's one right across the bridge going north. So when you're looking to get general imported goods or you wanna kind of one-stop shop, Superbuy is probably your best option. As you guys can see, Superbuy pretty much has everything you would want. They've got produce, they've got milk, drinks, snacks, spices, ingredients, ice cream, toilet. 
literally everything you'd find in a supermarket in the US or in Canada, it's here at Superbuy. So we'll keep walking through and show you guys more. We're at the greenhouse market guys, Middle Street, about halfway down Middle Street. Standing in the greenhouse market, this is like the Whole Foods of shopping in Belize. So it's a little pricier, but they've got more kind of unique stuff, different kinds of flowers and all this, you know, great stuff. So let's walk through and get some supplies here guys. Best pastries right here. The baker. So we hit a few different stores for the shopping day here, guys. We hit the fruit stand, we hit Caribbean chicken chicken, eggs, any meat, I always get it there. We hit Super Buy, and then we went across the street to the Greenhouse Mart, and what else we do, the baker. So in front of us, we have some of our items. As we talked about, the chicken for the two packs of chicken breasts and the pack of chicken fajitas came out to 29 Belize, so 14.50 US. The fruit stand where we got these items came out to 16 Belize, so eight US, so that's gonna be your more affordable stuff. When you go to the imported goods, it's gonna be more money. For example, this unsweetened almond milk was $8.90, so that's about $4.45. Some of these imported crackers are 20 Belize, so 10 bucks, so they become more. Uh, also, if you're getting kind of, I guess, out here more specialty veggies like kale that really need to be refrigerated, the Greenhouse Mart is better, so the kale is four bucks. And yeah, that's kind of our overview. The loaf of bread is a few Belize. So overall, if you're buying locally produced goods, it's gonna be way cheaper than if you're buying imported goods. That's when you see a pretty big hike on price because they do have to get these products A, into Belize. A lot of them they have to keep refrigerated and then they have to get them to the island. So different logistics there as opposed to the locally produced stuff, which you're gonna find it's a lot more affordable. Any questions, as always guys, shoot us an email. We're always happy to chat and we can't wait to see you out here in paradise.